for joining us very quickly. Okay, uh, coming along here. So you guys can see the screen, I suppose, right? Let me just run this slide. I think that's a stack. Okay. Uh, am I showing the right screen? I don't think I'm right showing the right screen. Let me just do it again. My apology. Let me do this. Hang on. Are you guys able to see now? Somehow, uh, yeah. I yeah, somehow I yeah. do not know why it's showing the two screen here. Uh, let me try to see if I can share the other screen. It's one of those PowerPoint thing. Uh, sweet. Maybe this one? Uh, yeah, but it's a really small, small screen. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, uh, you can try another way. If you do the share screen. Yes. If you do the share screen, there's like a, it's called the advanced. Let me share screen. You see, there's oh, a advanced. Share the other. Okay, share the other the entire screen, I suppose. Okay, I will do that. And let me run this slide right now. Yeah, and then you go the full. Hmm. Somehow it's running on my i because I have two screen on my computer, mm -hmm. so hmm, it's still showing the the other screen here. Anyway, no big deal. I will just do it like this. Can you yeah. can you see it though? Yeah, you see the top there called the display setting. Oh, how about this one here? Oh uh, yes, top display setting. Yeah, click right here. Uh, there drop down and uh, drop down. Click is uh, no, it's not there. It's uh, on oh, the top. At the top. top. Okay. Yes. Uh, move display left. Display setting. Display mm -hmm. setting. Yes. Yeah. Click and uh, click the first one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow, you guys are good. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate that. Okay, so uh, this is our team here. As you can see, uh, the front of me is, the front of the picture is me, my, Ronald, and I have Masha uh, behind me on the left-hand side, and Karen is behind me, and also Alan. So this is our team here. Now, although we have bigger team than this one here, but right now for the uh, supporting um, uh, home life landmark, I just, assemble this team here. It's called performance team to look after you guys, okay? Now to give you some background there about uh, ourselves and, uh, and the company, uh, we've been around for uh, more than 20 years and we are one of the uh, mortgage centers, which is a nationwide uh, mortgage brokerage. Uh, we have license in both Ontario and BC. So if your clients have property and purchases in the Ontario and British Columbia, we can definitely do that. Now, if you have uh, clients in other provinces, we can still do it. But the only thing we have to do is we may have to co-broker with the other mortgage centers uh, across Canada. Okay, it is one of the uh, uh, the biggest and oldest uh, mortgage network in Canada, and as we really well trust uh, in the uh, in in uh, by Canadians, we are actually very honored by many many lenders as one of the top performing uh, brokerages uh, in Canada. We have about 30, if not more, mortgage agents that speak different languages. Now, today I'm presenting in uh, English, but uh, uh, a lot of our teams here speak other languages, such as uh, Mandarin, uh, such as um, uh, Korean, uh, such as Farsi or Persian, um, a lot of different languages we can support. So if you call clients prefer us to speak to you in their native uh, language, we will try to make the best, okay? Uh, a lot of people ask us, you know, as a mortgage broker, uh, what, uh, what interest rate can you offer and what can you do? Well, let's get this thing out of the way first. Um, for variable rate, which is a five-year term, we can offer rate at five minus 1%. My prime rate currently being 2.45%, uh, 2.45 minus 1% equal to 
0.45%, okay? And the five-year fixed rate can be here for 2.09%. Now, some said that, oh, you know, this is a great rate, but I have heard someone that offers something better or higher. Well, it is true. There are uh, circumstances we can offer even lower than this rate. Um, to get the myth out of the way, is all kind of rates out there. This rate I'm telling you is kind of like a general rate that we can get it for almost everyone. But there's circumstances. For example, if you're a client uh, looking for uh, mortgages with uh, down payment less than 20%, less than 20% is called insured mortgage. Usually for insured mortgage, the rate can be even lower than prime is 1%. Or when the down payment is more than 35%, you can also have lower rate. So it's for the five year fixed rate as well. There's also 25 years amortization and the 30 years amortization. So again, it is all over the places. So the rate can be ranged quite a bit too. And I also want to share with you that recently uh, we are being uh, chosen as one of the exclusive uh, provider um, of a bank that have no other mortgage brokers available. It's called HSBC Bank Canada. So a lot of people heard about the advertisement uh, from HSBC with the lowest rate. So the rates from HSBC uh, for variable rate can be even lower than prime minus 1%. We're looking at prime minus 1.2%, okay? And the five-year rate as well. Actually for variable rate at the, at the uh, uh, HSBC for insured mortgage can be even less than 1%. 0.99%. Once again, 0.99% for insured purchase mortgage at HSBC if you qualified. Again, I do not want to uh, overload you guys with all the interest rates. Uh, give us a call. At the end of the presentation, um, I will post uh, my picture, uh, contact information there. We can be contacted by telephone number, email, uh, WhatsApp, WeChat, and all the good thing here. Uh, if you needed to uh, send me, I will send you uh, our team's contact information and you can have uh, them post up on the, uh, on the Home Life Landmark uh, WeChat or website or the, uh, the chat group and they can contact us, okay? So that's the interest rate for the uh, major banks. Now let's talk about uh, something more interesting today, how we can help you as a real estate agent to get more business. Okay, I think the key here is not just to talk about mortgages, but it's really how we, okay, as a mortgage broker, as actually a partner to Home Life Landmark, um, how we can help you guys do more business. So there are two, uh, three programs I want to share with you today. One of the programs is called the Net Worth Program. Okay, Net Worth Program is a program that if your client have 35% down payment, has very good credit, like 680 beacon score and higher, even though that person has no income verification, doesn't show too much on the tax return, we can still get a mortgage with the best rate from Scotiabank or TD Bank or B2B Bank or Community Trust or Home Trust. Now, Community Trust and Home Trust offer slightly higher rate, but because the requirement, requirements for that is even lower than Scotiabank and TD and B2B Bank, so it's kind of worth it. To, to mention it. Now, keep in mind, they are not for everyone. This person must be reasonable, uh, uh, reasonably uh, uh, well off. The, the whole story describing this borrower and person is very important. If this client is a 20 some years old person, even though we tell the bank that he has 35% down payment, he has good high net worth, they still would not consider it. To qualify for this high net worth program, you have to have a minimum um, extra money of $250,000. So in addition to the 35% down payment, your client must have at least another $250,000 in the bank account, okay? Now, depending on the actually reported income, we may require even more than $250,000, sometimes called one-to-one -one match. One dollar that you want to borrow, you want one dollar in your net worth, okay? Now, it's not exactly one-to-one -one because if there is some income that the person reported, we may not need one-to-one. -one. But for the sake of conversation, I say one-to-one. -one. So let's say the client bought a $1 million home and he has $350,000 down payment and he has to borrow 
$650,000 mortgage. This client must have $350,000 down payment in his bank account, but on his other statement, like investment statement, like RRSP, TFSA, or other bank account, must have an equivalent of $650,000, which is the loan amount that they're looking for. Okay, now it could be less. Now, some are asking, uh, what about my equity in other homes? Unfortunately, equity in other homes cannot be considered as net worth for this program. It must be liquid net worth. So again, either bank statement, bank account, uh, deposit like GICs, uh, a stocks, trading account, TFSA, RRSP, RRSP are considered with a discount, okay? So those are what we call high net worth. Now, most of the bank require that this high net worth to be in the bank account for at least three months. Some require even 12 months. So depending on which banks we are going for, that may be a history for that. So as you can see, if this person is 25 years of age, a young fellow, and you tell the bank that he has a million dollars in his bank account, and this is the high net worth program, that program would not work well for this 20 some years old. I know that some of you are dealing with some high net worth individual from overseas, either from China or from other countries, and a lot of money was given to them by the parents. Unfortunately, because of the profile does not match, they would not fit this program. Typically, I think the program good for people who are 40 and above, you know, a little bit older, more mature is better, that can accumulate that net worth, it looks better. And it must be a principal home. It cannot be rental properties, okay? But anyway, so we do have a program that, that has no income proof requirement. So something that you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, check it out. And if you need more detail, uh, let me know, okay? Uh, does anyone have any question at this moment for the time being? If you do, uh, please unmute yourself and ask that before I move on to the next slide. If you want to do that, unmute yourself at the lower left corner of Zoom. Okay, well, let's move on to the next slide. Now, if you do have a question, you can also put it on the chat. Uh, my One of my colleagues, uh, Gail or Karen, can monitor those uh, uh, a chat box and ask the question for, for you. Okay, next slide. Okay. The other program I want to talk about is actually very, very interesting. It's called 100% financing or zero down payment. Zero down payment. Now, this program, I know there's a, hey, you know, I thought that uh, the government and the bank have removed it. Well, yes, and it's not. It is not available by the typical major banks, but they are being offered by other alternative banks, okay? Now, the interest rate is slightly higher, if you look at the rate I offered you before, like a, like 199, 2%, this is like 279 to 299%. So it's about 1% higher than the major banks. This is a fixed rate, not variable rate. And they do a 30 years amortization, not 25, but 30. These banks or lenders will charge your client a fee of 1% of the loan amount. Now, this is the, the bad things that I want to tell you, but I want to tell you the good things why your client would like to go with this program with slightly higher rate and slightly uh, fee available, okay? I will use an example here. No down payment. How do we do that? Let me give you an example here. First of all, we have a client, Fred. Maybe that's your client, Fred. Fred bought a pre-constructed condominium, okay? It could be a rental property. Doesn't have to be the one that you live is a rental property, okay? And he wants to buy this investment rental property with zero down payment. So what he did is that a few years ago, back in 2017, about four or five years ago, he bought a condo for $377,000, okay? Now, actually this case here uh, is almost like a real life case here. I actually changed the name, a little bit of the thing to protect the innocent but this is the real life case here and we closed this transaction just recently, okay? Uh, Fred bought this condominium for $377,000. That was a time that the, pro the 
the value of the condo has not gone up like crazy, has dropped down a little bit. And he already paid one five, 15% deposit to the builder throughout the, the you know, last three to four years period. Okay, so that is how much he paid for. And all of you will say now the, the condo, no way you can buy a condo for $377,000, right? Exactly, because today the market value of the same condo will be at $540,000. So in this case here, we did an appraisal, the value of the condo actually has gone up to $540,000. If you do the math, math here, if you got a calculator, $540,000 is the current market value minus $377,000 purchase price. You actually make $163,000 in capital appreciation on the book. He has not sold it yet, but he had already made $163,000, which is amazing, right? Now, typically, if you come to me and you want to go to the bank, they go to the bank, they can get mostly up to 80% of the purchase price. If the original purchase price is $377,000, the maximum this person, based on qualification, the bank will give him is only $301,600. So not only that, uh, the 15% uh, deposit he paid the builder is not sufficient. He have to put in another 5% of that, right? Which is another uh, for $377,000, about $16,000 more from his own pocket. So at the time of closing, Fred will have to come up with another 16 or $17,000 additional money from the pocket, plus the closing costs. You know, condominium, you can have to pay the education levy, the development charges that can add up to twenty to $25,000 and the land transfer taxes. So suddenly on the day of closing, Fred may have to come up with $50,000 from his own pocket. Okay, so, but they, he got the lowest rate. We're going to ask yourself, is it the best strategy for him? I think one, one pe uh, people can argue with that is, is lowest interest rate the best? I'm going to show you here, a lowest interest rate with a bad investment strategy will cost your client more than a good investment strategy with higher interest rate. So Fred decided to do the other way. He decided to say, Ronald, can I borrow more money? I say, yes, I can borrow up to you your original purchase price of $377,000, okay? Because the bank, the bank that we deal with can offer up to 80%, A0 of the $540,000 market value. Not the original price, but the appraisal market value. So 80% of 540 is more than $400,000 but the program kept at the maximum purchase price, original price purchase price. So we went to the bank. The bank said, no problem. Frank is a good guy. Everything went well. Let me give him $377,000 mortgage. So that means zero down payment. After we did the calculation, even with the rate is slightly higher, the monthly payment is only one thousand six hundred twenty four dollars and the same condominium if you rent it out today can be rent out for at least one thousand eight hundred dollars can be even higher if the COVID-19 pandemic improved so you can see the rent actually cover the mortgage payment what do we get from here on the day of closing Fred will not need to even bring one dollar to the closing the 15% deposit that he paid to the developer will get it all back on the day of closing. So that means he made the $163,000 capital appreciation by putting out zero dollar. So think about that. What is the return on investment in terms of percentage? Definitely more than 100%, infinite. And this property is self-carry. So when you come to investment property, why do you care about a little bit higher different interest rate? As long as the rental income can cover the mortgage payment and everything else, we're good. Because on the day of closing, he doesn't have to bring up additional money to close. He can also get money back. 
and every single dollar on interest he paid the mortgage is tax deductible on his tax return. So we achieve the maximum income tax deduction, best cash flow. He got all his money back or deposit back on the day of closing, infinite return on investment. And that is 100% financing. And for you as a real estate agent, what is even better, on the day of closing, the client can get all his deposit back on the day. And you can tell him as a client, aren't you happy that I helped you to buy this condo a few years ago? Now you make some good money and Ronald and his team and help you get the mortgage. Now you have this money in your pocket back from the developer. What are you going to do with it? How about we're going to buy another one? So rather than wait for another two years or three years when this same client may have sold this condo, you don't have to wait for two to three years. Immediately, you ask a client to give you the money he got back from the, from the developer and use that as a deposit to buy another condo or to buy another new construct. And you can just keep turning the same client over and over again in a shorter period of time. So you can see is a win, win, win situation. It's a win for the borrower, the client, who make money already on the paper. He got all the money back on the day of closing. It's a sell carrying mortgage. It's a win for you because you can help this client make the money and also can get the money back for yourself to help the client to make the money again by buying another properties today, not three years later. So it's good for you. Of course, it's good for me as well. I have a very happy customer who is happy that we are not just giving him the lowest interest rate, but we think in their mind, give them the best investment strategy. So far, we have so many clients that has been using this program. And I have to tell you one thing, not one, not even a single one client who, who uses pro, uh, a strategy does not love this pro, uh, strategy. They just love it and they keep doing it. We have some client, they come back and do it two times, okay? So the banks that offer this um, strategy uh, to us is including a bank called Haven Tree Bank or Community Trust. Those are very big organization and they are offering this program. So something that I really want to share with you. Any question? If you do, please unmute yourself. Hi, uh, this is Lala. Hello. Hey, Lale, how are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Very uh, good. So I have a question here. I am seeing this uh, like looks like a good picture here, but aren't we ignoring the you know um, the property taxes and the monthly maintenance that you pay for the condo? Because if we assume that this will turn into a negative cash flow immediately. Yes. Well, you brought up a very, very, very good question here. The answer to this is yes, yes. It could be a negative cash flow. It could be. But let me ask you a question, Alev. On the day of closing, this same client, Fred, will get 15% of the deposit back. On $377,000, he got back a purchase price. He already paid 15% to the builder. So he got $56,000 back in his pocket. Do you think that even though that there's been a $200, even $300 negative cash flow, that extra $56,000 he get back from on the day of closing can cover that period for at least five years, if not 10 years. So that's something you can think of. And all the negative cash flow become a loss, rental loss on the year of the tax return. And that become another good tax strategies. So, so those are the things that I would say that yes, you may have a little bit negative cash flow, but you all depend on rental income. The rental income here, $1,800 is a COVID-19 pandemic rental income. The same condominium uh, can be rented for at least $2,200 before or maybe after COVID-19 pandemic. So again, yes, it could be negative cash flow, but it could be positive or it could be zero. So I hope that I answered your question, uh, Ladev. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, thank you. Great. All right, any other questions? Those are great questions. Okay, well, if you need time, you can wait until the end of the presentation and bring it up again. Uh, I'll be here. 
uh, or you can give me, give me a call or give me a call after this. Let's move on. The next program that will help you to uh, close more deal and everything else is called First Time Home Buy Incentive Program, short term FTHBI. Now, some of you may have already heard about that a few years ago, uh, but as you know, with the new federal budget, they make some changes to the program. They make it more useful. And for the last two months, I've already done two deals under this program, okay? Now, it's typically good for first-time home buyer to tell you that. Why? Because this program is the one that the government will give your claim up to 5%, depending on situation could be even 10%, but for resale, it's 5% of the purchase price. And it's interest-free, it's almost like a grant to your client. You can get the lowest interest rate from the bank. So let's say if I get this mortgage done, you make the purchase, um, the interest rate could be like 1.99% or uh, 1.1.99, 1.45%, pi minus 1%, could be even lower. It must be insured by CMXC, uh, Canadian uh, Mortgage Home Corporation, Housing Corporation. Now, the maximum purchase price, which is to you as a realtor, unfortunately, is maximum at $675,000 because the maximum is four and a half times of $150,000 income. One fifty dollars is the maximum income under this program. Doesn't matter how much a client make, like husband and wife together, even if they make more than $150,000, the most you can use is $150,000 income. And the most you can use is four and a half times over $150,000. That means maximum purchase price is $675,000. So if you come across a client that fit this program and you can find this client a condominium, uh, maybe somewhere in the outskirt for $675,000, you are good to go. The only thing the borrower need is to come up with 5% of their own money and the closing costs. And the government will give them $33,750. That is what we call the incentive. Now it's not a grant, it's called incentive. That's why the program is called First Time Home Buyer Incentive Program. And the client need to come up with only $42,000, $500, his own down payment. Okay, let me give you some example here and, and, and where you can get some information. Now, these are the two websites that you can get more information on. One of them is just to show you the rules and regulation, but this one is more useful. It's actually a calculator that you can actually do it uh, for, for, for that matter. So I can do a quick uh, calculator calculation and let me share the screen. Can you guys see the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you click on that link, you will come to a Government of Canada website. So if you wanted to, uh, you can just show that to your client or send it to them to do a calculation. It's very simple. You click the Calculate Now button on this link, okay? And what you need to do is to say, click Get Started. They will ask you a very few simple questions. First, is this property in Toronto, Vancouver, or Victoria? In this case here, I would say yes, okay? Because most of the, the transaction is in those area. If they continue. And what is the annual income of the client? Let's say the income is $150,000. Even though it's higher than 150, the most you can do is $150,000, okay? And let's say uh, the client is able to come up with 42,000, was it 42 or 43,500? It is uh, 43,000, 42,500, okay? 42,500 dollars. And let's say this is a we sell existing home. That means maximum 5%. Click continue. And let's say the amortization is 25 years and the interest rate is 1.45%, which is prime rate which is 2.45% minus 1%, calculate. And that's it. The system or the website from government of Canada will spell out the maximum incentive that your client would get $33,750. And the maximum purchase price is $675,000. So if you can get to that and you're, we can calculate for your client if you wanted to, then you can get the mortgage pre-approved and you can shop for your client. And your client will save a lot of money because the 5% came from the government. So every month, 
they will save at least $160 on the monthly mortgage payment. Okay, so that is the first time home buy incentive program. And we offer that through uh, different banks. And what we can do is that once you send me a client or ask a client, we'll look at his circumstance and see if they qualify for that. If they qualify for that, I will let them know and then let you know, and you can go on and uh, everyone's happy. Okay. Any question on the first time home buy incentive program? If you do, please unmute yourself in the lower left corner on Zoom and ask away. Uh, hi, uh, this is Lalit hi. again. Yeah. Hey, Lalit. Uh, yeah, so um, this is not applicable for the people on work permit, right? You need to have a PR or a, uh, a citizen, right? Yes, unfortunately, it's not applicable for perm uh, non-permanent residents, but I can ask the bank if the client has already applied for the permanent residence, is waiting for the PR, because you know the last year to two years, there's a lot of backlog on the immigrants that apply for permanent residence. Some of them may already been uh, uh, granted the permanent residence, but have not been getting the PR card yet. Uh, those I think that could be qualified as well. Um, so I can ask. But if okay. they are strictly non-resident, unfortunately, no, must be, uh, you know, a PR. Yeah, thank you, Ronald, that is good to know. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. Another program that I wanna share with you, which is just came out, actually not even come out, is coming out in two days time, July 1st, okay? Um, this is a program I'm very excited about. Uh, you know, due to COVID-19 with the pandemic, a lot of people get affected with their life. And the people who put out on their own, their life are people, are what we call first responders. Those are the ones that we want to say thank you to them. And this is a program specially designed to them and only offered through us, the market center. It's called the first respondents mortgage program. And it's effective July 1st, which is two days, the Canada day. This program are good for people uh, like their career who are either police officers, firemen, nurses, must be registered nurses, medical doctors. Those are what we call the, the, uh, the first responders. There's actually another list here, which I think I can share with you the list. And uh, let me uh, give that, let's show that to you, okay? Who they are. Okay, the list. Okay, you can see that one here. The program is exclusive to the mortgage center, us. So if you're going to other places, even though you walk into the bank, they will not have this program available to them. It's only available to us. So if you're one of the first responders, okay? And that means, let me see if I can give you the list. Hmm. I send the list out to you, uh, later on. Um, but those are basically the, uh, the first responders are the, the one that lists out to you. Uh, they will be qualified to be under this program. And, uh, and what this program do is they will get the lowest of the lowest interest rate. So I uh, just want to share with you, unfortunately I cannot put it on the screen because that's the marketing guideline. It is available through Scotiabank, okay? Not any other bank, but Scotiabank. What you will get is you will get the lowest rate and even lower than the way that Scotiabank offered to us broker, but even lower than that. It's called unpublished rate. Unfortunately, we cannot use the logo of Scotiabank. That's unfortunately because they have all the legal department. Other than that, we, uh, they, you, you will see that they can be qualified for lowest interest rate, Plus, they can get up to $1,600 cash back on day of closing, okay? 
So these are the only two, these are the only requirement that you are being one of the first responder. You will get the lowest, lowest, lowest rate, lower than what wherever you can see. Plus, you can get up to I think I should correct that sixteen hundred dollar um, of the uh, yeah. Sorry, my apology. Let me just uh, run that again. Uh, maximum sixteen hundred dollars. Okay, I'll correct, I will correct that screen later on. So $1,600 is the maximum uh, cash the client will get as being the first responder, and it will be under the Scotiabank program. So this will come on July 1st, exclusive to us, the Morgan Center. Even though the client walk into Scotiabank's branch, they will not be able to get this uh, cash back and lowest rate. So I can guarantee that. So if you guys come across any client that fit into one of those category, please let me know and I will send it for you and give you a uh, client the best rate. Okay, any question on this one? Starting July 1st. Okay, well, um, just wanted to show you, tell you that in addition to those major programs, we also offer other programs if you guys deal with any commercials. Commercial mortgages are the one that people bought something like an office, uh, a retail unit, a plaza, uh, a storefront apartment, gas station, and whatnot. So what we do is we help your client to get those commercial mortgages, okay? That's part of our services. Now, commercial mortgages, if you go to the bank, or we can take you to the bank as well, you do have the lowest rate, but the maximum is 65% loan to value, meaning 35% down payment, the bank also have very stringent lending guidelines and they have to look at sometimes 15, most of the time 15, sometimes 20 year amortization very short. And they also look at the debt service coverage ratio, meaning that the income from the property, not from the client, the income from the commercial property must be 1.25 times, even 1.4 times of the mortgage payment. They have a lower rate, maybe prime rate plus a little bit, prime plus one, prime plus 0.5, and they do charge a lower fee, about a quarter to 1%, uh, 0.5% of lender fees. But the problem is a lot of your clients will not be able to qualify for the commercial mortgage by the bank. So what we do is we're opening up to other lenders that we work with called trust companies like EQ Bank, Home Trust. These companies, they actually offer up to 75%. Uh, it was 65, is now 75%. The rate is still very competitive to the bank maybe 0.5% higher. But the good thing about this is longer amortization, which is 25 years amortization, okay? But they also look at the debt service coverage ratio much more favorable, as long as one-to-one -one coverage. So take for example here, uh, if I can get you the mortgage or your client the mortgage, the monthly payment is $2,000 on the mortgage payment, on the commercial mortgage payment. And if the rent, the client can get from this commercial property is $2,000. Now, by the way, it's gonna be triple net rent, net, net, net. So for some of you who have not dealt with commercial properties before, the triple net stand for TMI, property taxes, which is T, M is management fee, I is insurance. So the rent must be a triple net rent, net of property taxes, management fee, and insurance. As long as the rent, the net rent, is equal to the monthly mortgage payment $2,000. That is called debt coverage ratio one to one. The trust company will approve this deal. So you can see it's easier. So, uh, so we deal with the trust companies on your commercial clients needs, okay? But if some of them still do not do it, what we can do, we can do a private lending as well for one year. Sometimes you need to establish a good financial statement on the commercial mortgage before the bank will start looking at your client. So what we do is we offer them a one year or two years short-term private mortgage at a rate around 6% or change, and they do it for one year, two year, and we take them back to the bank. So that's what we do, okay? So what is that difference? Make us, iBroker Power and the Mortgage Center different from any other, uh, other brokerages or other banks? I just wanted to tell you, we help you guys. If you guys are buying agent, if you guys are focused a lot on helping clients to buy the property, first, we'll pre-qualify your clients. We give them pre-approval. What you have to do is just introduce us 
to your client and will do all the work for you, okay? We also have a special program called Home Bias Advantage Program, which I will not go into details and then you can call me after this, is that during the multiple offer situation when everyone has to compete for the uh, uh, multiple offer, we actually have a strategy that you and me and your client work together to put your offer on in front of every other people's offer even for the same price. And how do we do that? Give me a call after this program. We'll talk about that and I'll show you how we can do it together free of charge, okay? It's called Home Bias Advantage Program. Help your offer to be accepted. If you're a selling agent, what we can do is when you prepare your feature sheet, when you're doing open house or when you're doing showings, uh, we can add the illustration of table on how much down payment, how much uh, mortgage and, and everything else to show to the potential buyer uh, the mortgage things. So we can help you put together a feature sheet, okay? And this is key, okay? We know that these days, response and service is very important. So when you have a client and when you have a phone call to us, we're guaranteed to return a phone call within the same day. And typically we get back to you within an hour and we can get back to you by, either by phone call, by text message, by WeChat, by WhatsApp, by email, whatever you want it. So we want to have the communication going on. We won't wait and we'll get back to you, okay? All your client. So this is our promise to you at a service level, okay? We keep constant communication to you. Uh, so let's say you send me your client, Fred. When I start working with Fred on the mortgage throughout the process, you will be uh, BCC or copied on our communication. Now, for some privacy reason, we may not want your client to know that we will let you know, but at the behind the scene, we we'll shoot you a text message, we we'll BCC you with some of the communication, so you know exactly where we are with the bank, with the, with the mortgage, so you feel comfortable, okay? We even call the lawyer to make sure the lawyer receive the instruction, so we cover all the bases for you, okay? Communication is key. Uh, we respect the relationship. I think the best interest of the client is the key to us. It's not just interest rate, but also relationship. As I can demonstrate to you, the best mortgage and best mortgage broker is not just about getting the mortgage with the lowest rate, but giving the client the best mortgage that fits their needs. Okay, so that's key. Now, um, and then we work as a team. Uh, what we do is that we're different from another mortgage brokers. What we do is when you start working with me, I'm your first person to talk to. But then I have a team behind us called case managers and client experience managers. Those are the people that will work also along with me and your client and you to make sure that the client succeed with the whole process. And I will introduce also people in the team for you. So take, for example, if I'm very, very busy with different clients, or maybe I'm on vacation, or maybe I take a second shot of my vaccine, I feel well, not well, I, I'm off sick. Guess what? Don't worry about that. My team, I have two other people in that team that will help you. You make a phone call to me or the team member, they look after like, like this. Internally, we communicate. Everyone knows exactly 100% where we are with the mortgage. So that's an approach, okay? And we follow up with the client every year every year we'll touch base with them. Not only one year, actually we'll do that on a very uh, a quarterly basis. <coughs> Excuse me. So once again, who we are? We are Home Life Landmarks Partner in Mortgage, okay? We work very closely. Uh, before the COVID-19 pandemic, we have uh, our staff uh, coming to the office on Woodbine every day to do personal consultation with you guys and you can just come and see us. Now during COVID, unfortunately we cannot do that, but we maintain a, a WeChat group. You can always ask us any question on the chat group. And also this is our contact information here. Uh, you can call our office main line 386-9911 and you can get to one of us, or you can call my cell phone directly, which is 90021, actually 2122. <laughs> Let me correct that, my bad. You know, there's a lot of things going on. Okay, so that is my cell phone number. You can write it down, 9002122. So you can call me, text me, uh, or, you know, email me. And that's my email, ronald.ibrokerpower.com. Now, if you choose to, you can also come and visit me. I come to the office every single day. Uh, we have all the uh, 
the precautionary measures, including uh, you know all the uh, antiseptics and uh, all the uh, plexiglasses. If you wanted to, we can meet up as well. We also have a big meeting rooms. We can like uh, more than 12 feet apart to talk about things. And I personally have been vaccinated for the last two, um, last two, uh, two shots already. So if you feel comfortable, come and visit us. We are over at 243 Consumers Road, uh, Unit 203, which is Victoria Park and Sherpa. Uh, come on over and I'd love to have a, a tea or coffee with you and we can go over your need. Maybe we can put together a marketing program that fit your need. You tell me your profile of your client and we'll do something together. And so at the end of the day, it's a win-win for you and me and uh, your client. So that concludes my presentation. How are we doing with time? Oh, I think we're just right on time, 11 o'clock. So I will open up the, uh, the platform and any question, just click the uh, unmute yourself and ask me away. And Sammy, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. And so thank you for Home Life, Landmark, and all of you as well as Pony Mark. I'm here for any questions.